guys, how are you? Bia here. I don't really know what we're going to be doing today, but my friend sent me a bunch of supplies quite a while ago. She has sent me supplies twice and I have not had the, the time or just the mindset to try them out. I have swatched them, but I have not really played with them properly. These are some of them. So in this little corner here, we have Dr. PH Martin samples, which I've been wanting to try for a really long time, but I just haven't really had the time. A lot of my work lately has been having me just doing digital stuff. So traditional work, unfortunately, has fallen a bit out of the wagon. So I thought we could have some fun with some of these today. These, for example, are brushes, which are totally new for me. These are like a loose pigment, but from the videos that I saw online, they look really, really interesting. Definitely want to try them out. And then she also sent me some diamine, I think that's why you say it, inks. I'm not entirely sure which one to use today. I think I'm going to do a quick poll on Instagram while I have some lunch. And then we'll see what we're going to use today. Because I honestly don't really know. Brush show might be fun, but it's quite messy. Could be very fun. And I think I definitely need something that's just fun times. You know what I mean? PH Martin inks are something that I really wanted to try. And the diamond inks might just be interesting. The color selection is quite moody, I can show you. So these here are the color that she sent me. So as you can see, we have very moody colors, so it could be very fun as well. Brusha, we have a very nice rainbow, very selective colors. And then the Dr. PH Martin, we have just your very standard hues right here and there. If you see the title of this video, you will know what we're going to do, so you already know more than me. <laughs> So I'm just going to do a quick pull over on Instagram and I'll check back with whatever we're going to be doing today. <laughs> okay, so it's been a couple of hours and right now the results are like this. So Dr. PH Martin is winning with nine votes. This was completely tight for a few hours. So I'm glad to see at least something got ahead. I was just probably just going to have to choose randomly, but you said PH Martin in the end, so. From this, this little set is PH Martin. So I still want to try out Brusho and the other inks. I'm either just going to make that the next video or just a further video down the line because I still really want to try them out. And I was actually checking some Brusho tutorials just in case Brusho won. So that got me really curious. Everything is falling. <laughs> Why? So as you can see, this is our color selection with the Dr. PH Martin. It's a pretty standard color and I think these are just the normal inks. Yeah, we have yellow, bright red, red, magenta, violet, blue, teal, green, grass green, brown and black. I'm just going to try and make something with these. I don't know what I'm going to draw still. There is a draw this in your style that I was kind of wanting to do for a while and I had not really had a chance, so I might do that one. A sketch something just Browse Pinterest for some ideas, check if I still like that draw this in your style, if there's another one that I was into it. I want this to be quite chill, I don't want to think a lot about the drawing because I really want to just have the feel for the paints, I want to make something that's nice and fun. And yeah, I'm, I've been curious for these for a while and to be honest it has been a while since I've did anything traditional. I have been doing a lot of digital work lately. So this is either going to be very nice and relaxing or a complete disaster because I just have not done this in a while. Hopefully the latter because yeah, that would be not fun. I have two whites as well and I really need to shake these. These have been sitting on my drawer for months and months now. So I really need to shake all of them before, eh, before everything. But look at this, this color is really pretty. So I just need to shake these a lot. <laughs> So I was checking and I think it's the Bombay inks. At least these colors match to a set that I found online. And I believe those are the ones. So yeah, just checking these are the Bombay inks. I'm going to see what I do, see if I sketch something and I'll check back with you in a second. Voice over beer here. And in the end, I decided to go for the Draw This New Style by Sayarin. I think that's how you pronounce her name, but it'll be here on the screen. This is a draw this near style that I wanted to do for a while, but I hadn't really had the time when it was like active, but I'm glad I ended up being able to make it anyway, even if I'm a bit late. <laughs> so I pretty much 
started with the as usual very diluted inks i tried to make a skin color but i was quite rusty with making a skin color i did a few and the first one was just too pink so i went with the brown and added a bit of red and a bit of blue and it looked quite a lot better for this drawing i think in the end i focused a lot on three colors mainly which was the teal the violet and the magenta you'll keep seeing me use those a lot for the original drawing her hair is black and white but i don't really enjoy using black per se in my drawings it's just very heavy so i went with blue for what was going to be black and then just teal outlines for what would be white one and i think it turned out pretty fun it's just a very light way of making this hairstyle work at least for my style regarding these inks so i'm not new when it comes to inks that are waterproof that will stay but these definitely have a lot of staying power especially i think because i'm so used to when i do ink i tend to do it with very swill press which are not waterproof so i i'm quite used to being able to lift some part of the ink uh, if not sometimes all of it i think i just kind of <laughs> I knew these were pretty much staying where they were placed, but it took me a little bit to get used to that. But in the end, these were very, very fun to use. Way more than I thought. I was quite scared when I began because, I don't know, I haven't done traditional in so long, but this was incredibly relaxing. And by the way, in the middle of me drawing, I remembered I should be painting with the my sketchbook propped up. so. I'm going to get my table easel uh, because posture if you saw my video about vertigo you know i kind of have to be more mindful of my posture and i was feeling my neck very <laughs> curved down when i'm like wait a minute i shouldn't be doing it like this so i went to get my table easel and it was quite comfortable to work with i was scared since i was working with ink that it would just run down everywhere but it worked out very very well so i first started even doing the line art with a more diluted ink but then as i wanted a more dark version of that ink i would just like straight without any more water and it's really interesting how different the consistency is of course it's different because it won't have any water but it works great if you just want a different value or a more opaque type of thing without having to worry about a lot of stuff that okay that sentence made no sense but what i mean to say is that i really enjoyed going from more diluted ink to straight up no water ink it was a very chill and very fun way to do things because it's not as scary i think lots of people find ink quite scary because once it's down it's down i didn't really try out the white ink per se i used it a little bit in the end but I think I want to try and mix it with other pigment, with the other inks to try and see if I can make pastel colors because I think that's one of the uses for this white ink is to make like pastel-y soft colors. I really, really enjoy this ink. I definitely need to go back to more traditional because this was so fun and so relaxing at the same time i had missed it so so much and i'm hoping to just be able to i won't say relax because september I, i'm having two cons uh, one of them in madrid which is at the end of this month i'm, go I'm going to be in japan weekend and i'm so so scared <laughs> of everything but hopefully it goes well also apologies for the weird angles from time to time I'm still not really sure how to film while using the easel, so apologies for the weird angles. I was trying to change the camera angle from time to time, so it's not as boring, but it made it for some very weird angles. <laughs> In the end, I really enjoy these inks, like Dr. P.H. Martin, I think these are the Bombay inks, were really really fun i didn't use all of them of course i think i ended up <laughs> staying in a very limited color palette with just like these three colors which i think just made it a bit more easy and are the colors that i just identify more with in my work i definitely want to try more but i definitely put aside the grass green and stuff like that because i was i knew i wasn't going to use it i will try to give it a shot i'll try my best i just want to say thank you so much to my friend faith or alice real here on youtube and instagram check her out her page she's amazing for sending me these samples she sent me a bunch more 
art supplies and samples which I definitely want to try more in the future. I'm going to try my best to schedule them in between the other videos that come up. So you definitely can expect more me trying the samples that she sent me. So thank you so much Faith, you are just the sweetest. I hope you enjoyed this video, it was nice coming back to just a nice chilled painting. And this is also the final page of this sketchbook. I'm not sure, let me know if you want me to do a sketchbook video tour, this one. It's quite I'm not sure where it begins. I haven't used it that much, but most of the most of the drawings are here. You will probably remember, so it might be nice to just be like down memory lane. So let me know if a sketchbook video tour is something you like me to see. Thank you so much for watching and for being here. You guys are the sweetest. Please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments. Have you used these inks? Do you like them? Let me know your opinions on them. This is just my first opinions, I really enjoyed them so far and I definitely want to give them more tries and just like play with them more. I played with them but I definitely did not explore as much as I could. <laughs> so yeah, I'm excited for that. Thank you again and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!